my favorite thing in the world. They're super cheap. Beautiful artist town. 100% recommend. I'm a big drunk. Hey everyone, good morning from another day. I am out here getting a cup of coffee uh, after a really, really fun night and some breakfast as well because I feel like I have a heavy day ahead of me so I'm gonna eat food right now like a big meal and then get on with the day. Something that you need to know about Budapest and one of the reasons why it's also my favorite cities in the world is that it's got the best cafes with really good food. So I've been trying out quite a few like even when I was here the last time and I would recommend this cafe called Espresso Embassy as probably the best one. So if you have like one cafe that you need to visit it has to be that one. I'm not there right now though. I am at another cafe. What I'm also going to do is put down in the description box like three or four of my favorite cafes that you can visit when you're having breakfast somewhere. I've gotten a coffee and toast. Oh my god, it's here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so I just got my food and it looks amazing. They also have like fake meat here, which is my favorite thing in the world. So yeah, I'm really excited, really hungry, going to dig in. Talk soon. Another thing that you need to know about Budapest is that it's got some of the best vintage and second-hand stores. So like clothes that are basically given away by people or like just vintage clothes. So they're super cheap and really, really cool. So I'm entering one of the best stores here. It's called Sputnik, I guess. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but come in and let's go check it out. These stores have everything, tops, jackets, bags, jewellery and all of them are between let's say 1 to 20 euros depending on how old they are. I found some really really cool tops here as well. Oh my god this is paradise, there are so many fanny bags here and you guys know how much I love that. Okay, lots to choose from. Mm. Not sure. It looks kind of cool but also a bit big. Another good find is this store called PSTR and there I found recycled corset tops. How cool! They were for 15 euros and I loved them. So this time I'm going to a small town called Sintandre which is close to Budapest. It's only um, an hour away and it's a beautiful artist town. So there's like a lot of art galleries and apparently it's supposed to be super cute. Uh, also one of the oldest towns, a place where you can see different cultures as well. Now I'm taking a metro and then I'm going to take another metro. So yeah, I'm just going to buy a ticket here. It's super easy. You can just use your card and buy the ticket. You can also buy the Sintandre ticket here already. It's a bit more expensive but all good. Still super cheap. This is probably one of the longest escalators that I've ever been on. It's insanely long. Wow. But I have to say that the public transportation in Budapest is so good and so convenient. It's so budget friendly if you want to go from one place to another. I mean, I just walk to save even more money, but otherwise, it's amazing. I love how old school and cute these trains are. Oh my god, I see a lavender shop over there. And after talking so much about lavender at the food tour, I think I'm gonna go get a lavender ice cream because it's hot. And this is a very, very cute town. Like, I literally feel like I've been transported back in time though, because it's really, really old. But I'm excited. Thank you. So as you can already see with by my lips, mm, I don't know how to eat an ice cream but I got the 
dark chocolate flavored with lavender and i also tasted the grape both were very very good this is the best it was really nice i just love the fact that one thing you can't beat in europe is the amount of ice cream and like gelato and sorbets and the flavors that they have it's like unbeatable mm that was quite good too like it was a 1 and 1/2 euro so 1 euro 50 cents which is pretty good i would say so first impressions of centenary let's start with a very special guest how do you like it <laughs> no it's really cute actually i really really like it it's a very small town and in fact after coming from like budapest you just feel as if where are you cuz it's like so quiet it got a lot of galleries a lot of cute cafes and a couple of places to shop so i would definitely say if you're someone who's into art then you should definitely come here cuz there are a lot of art galleries a lot of art museums and in general it's really beautiful so let's go check it out This place is so cute. I absolutely love it. What a hidden gem. Wow. And none of the blogs ever say that okay, come to Santendre. I love it. This is so beautiful. The fact that you can just sit by the river i'm going to go there that looks kind of like a beach of sorts wow it's so nice wow i love this place <sighs> i just feel like whenever i'm closer to nature i just feel happy and i'm like so excited to just go sit there in the sand and read a book and some people are swimming here oh mm, you know <laughs> a couple of years back i was like There has to be a rule that I always need to have a bikini in my bag because you never know when there's an opportunity to swim. And I'm really disappointed in myself that I haven't kept that promise because I could have been there frolicking in the water, in the sun. Ah oh, well. Nothing I can do about it now. But wow, it's amazing. I'm just going to chill there now. everyone so i just got back from santendra and now i'm with sophie i let sophie tell you what we guys are doing so it's a local craft beer tour we're going to visit some smaller uh, craft beer shops and try out some hungarian craft beers and also see around the, like district seven amazing and i always feel like you know budapest according to me is eventually going to be one of those uh cities in europe i feel like it's upcoming already as like one of the places with the best bars and the best um places cuz the interiors are amazing it's so fun it's also not as expensive as a lot of uh countries in western europe so i'm super excited and i booked this tour with with locals again so you guys can check out the link i'll put it in the description box um so yeah let's go see what that looks like okay so we're at our first stop it looks really cool how do we pronounce the name of the place chakayosher chakayosher i feel like hungarian is one of the hardest languages she was basically telling me that this place is really really cool their beers keep changing so it's like one of those places where if you come like you know after one or two weeks you will have a different variety so if you get lucky maybe you try something that maybe a lot of people won't get to try cuz it's only there when you were here it's a hungarian craft beer so they don't really do a lot of exports you know mm -hmm. for these beers so it's really unique that you can try out some small breweries here so the beer that i'm having is called uh, deal breaker and it has this logo which says bpbw which is budapest beer week um and that's basically a way for breweries to showcase themselves and it is so good uh, 100% recommend <laughs> 
So right now we just made a quick stop at Instant Pogashas. This isn't a part of the tour, but just I wanted to show you guys how this is like one of the biggest clubs in Europe, and it's here in Budapest. They've got like multiple rooms. From what I remember, around five to six different rooms and different clubs for different kinds of music. So there's one over there for techno. There's for rock. There'll probably be something for pop music as well. So there's something for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And that's amazing. We're here in daylight, but I'm pretty sure it looks completely different at night. I've never seen a club this big in my life. Wow. Okay, so Sophie was just telling me that we're now going to our second bar. Basically, she said that apart from Simpla, that was also one of the bars that got all the attention from the tourists and there's like a huge gentrification going on, but this street used to be like a local neighborhood street with lots of tailor shops and all the tailors making clothes here in the 19th century. So there's also a memorial of like a huge mural. Wow, it is beautiful. Wow. Nowadays you just see small food shops and, and bars to accommodate the tourists, but I feel that this vibe would deserve more. When you say gentrification, it's mostly you feel because of mass tourism. Yes, and hotels coming up from nowhere and mm. Airbnbs and you know, everything mm. just to, to make it make Budapest more similar to any other city, which I think is wrong because it's, it's so unique. Yeah, how does it take away? It takes away from the, from the, the local, beauty, yeah, yeah, the local beauty, authentic. which is what you want to travel for by the end of the day. So that in front of me is what Sophie told me, the oldest tailor shop in this area. This is the second stop, now we have one more stop. Hmm. It smells, oh I like this, this is nicer. Nice. All of these are really local breweries, local bars. I did a lot of research, by the way, before coming to Budapest, trying to find the coolest bars to introduce to you guys. And these were not on the list because they're not available online for research because they're that local. And yeah, now I'm a bit drunk. So let's move on. So I'm not going to be telling you all the names of the bars that we visited this evening so that you too decide to go on an adventure with Sofia around Budapest. And after our last bar for the evening, we decided to call it a night. By the way, it was a really cool bar. But this evening with Sofia was so fun. We talked about everything under the sun, from creativity to our passion for social media, art and just everything. And I loved that all of these tours were led by strong, wonderful women who were also passionate about sharing their culture with me. So a big, big, big shout out to With Locals for existing and hooking me up with such amazing guides. So everyone, that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed these three vlogs from Budapest. Every single time I go to this city, which has been twice, I have left a part of my heart behind. I mean, this place really reminds me of my journey, you know, because I came here with my family when I was like 18 and then said to myself that I am going to make it back to this place by myself, traveling, and it almost, it's almost feels like I manifested it at that point. So I really, really love this place. It is so, so special to me. It's beautiful. It's got everything from amazing parties to nature to culture and the coolest bars. Just don't forget, I think Simpla Court, For Sale Pub, they're just so amazing, so, so fun. The people are amazing. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Tell me in the comments, what was the one experience or person or whatever that stood out to you guys? And subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on other vlogs that are upcoming from other parts of the world. It's going to be super cool. So make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and see you next time. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank it's you for so bringing me here. Um, it's amazing. I really like it. Don't just travel, travel a more.